Dr. McFarlane, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us about how sleep affects headache and migraine pain. My first question for you is, why is it some people actually wake up with headaches? As a sleep expert, we find that to be a very important question when we're assessing patients in the clinic. The timing of the headache is very important, whether it's at sleep onset, whether it's in the middle of the night, whether they awaken in the morning with a headache can give us interesting clues as to what might be going on and to determine whether the headache is a, a primary headache which is provoked by sleep itself or certain sleep stages or whether it's a secondary headache that is secondary to other sleep specific sleep issues and, and disorders such as obstructive sleep apnea. Okay, so how does lack of sleep affect the frequency of headaches? So it's just not the lack of sleep, it can be oversleeping that also provokes a headache. So what we see are those people who are chronically sleep deprived or curtailing their sleep too early in the morning. They're prone to headaches, but that is also provoking the headache. But likewise, those that oversleep can also have their headaches provoked by the fact that they spend a lot of time in a specific stage of sleep when they're trying to sleep in in the morning. We know that we dream more when we sleep in because we're spending almost the entire time in dreaming sleep. We also know from the scientific literature that dreaming sleep is associated with headache in those individuals prone to headache. Okay, so how can we improve our sleep habits to hopefully prevent headaches and migraines? The first thing that we think about is whether the headache is primary or secondary. So a primary headache would be those that are prone to headaches and sleep actually aggravates the headache. And we would try to hone in on what aspect of sleep or, or their sleep schedule is actually uh, provoking their headaches. The second is to rule out whether there's another primary sleep disorder that could be uh, provoking a headache in a person that may not otherwise suffer from headaches. And the best example of that is obstructive sleep apnea where they become starved for oxygen, they build up carbon dioxide, and as a result they awaken with a headache in the morning. Great. Thank you so much for coming in to talk to us today, Dr. McFarland. That was really great information. Uh, my pleasure.